This is an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar covering the basics of editing with Apple Final Cut Pro 10. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to edit more precisely using three-point, back-time, and replace edits. But sometimes you need to be a bit trickier. Let's find a spot. I want to find, see where that ingot just separates. Here, see where those two separate? I'm going to set an out right there. I'm going to set an in, I don't know, somewhere in there, okay? Just as it comes up, find the spot where it comes up. Up, 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 up. Yeah, oh, flame, oh yeah, right there. Pretty dramatic, we're setting in. If I wanted to have precise control over where that shot starts, put the playhead where you want the shot to go, and type the letter Q. It starts at that in, as it just starts to come out, and ends at the out that's set in the browser. But maybe I don't want to have that. Maybe I want to select a range because it needs to fit not based upon the length of the clip in the browser, but I want to have it right to there. I need to have it start there and end there. Now that I've marked an in and an out in a timeline using the range selection tool, if I type the letter D, it overwrites to fill that range or if I type the letter Q, it edits to a higher layer to fit that range. But there's something even cooler. Notice that the end of this is just as that ingot clears. And I've got an out set here. If I type Shift D, it matches the out of the ingot with the out in the browser and it again fits it to the range. It's not changing the speed, it's just keeping the duration to match the range. But what I find even more useful is Shift-Q. Shift-Q moves it on a higher layer, matching the out in the browser with the out in the timeline, and the duration is based upon the range that you set in the timeline. So you can be very precise in exactly where that clip starts and where that clip ends, and what you're going to do with the content in between. Finally, is a replace edit. I'm going to get rid of this clip by just highlighting and hit the delete key. If I grab this clip and drag it down on top of a clip in the timeline, if I select replace, it replaces the clip I dropped it on top of and uses the duration of the browser clip. If I drag it down and say replace start, it uses the duration of the timeline clip and starts at the in of the browser clip. If I drag it down and say replace end, it replaces based upon the duration of the timeline clip and ends at the out rather than starting at the in. This ability to use three point edits to front time or back time a clip gives us infinite control over the clips that we have inside the timeline. This was an excerpt of a recent power up webinar on the basics of editing with Apple Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 286. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com membership. And thanks.